the laws currently are the economic situation. So a lot of people are avoiding investing in new investment options and they would rather um, cling into the investments that they already have. There is also the challenge of um, now the beehives that are being sold cheaper. So most um, products right now you can find a counterfeit, like honey right now has <laughs> a lot of counterfeits. Banana peel syrups, corn syrup. Um, so now the test in terms of the honey is actually um, misconstrued. So the honey that crystallizes, the one that you find at the bottom is actually crystallizing in corner to speckles. People say that it's niskaringuru, but that is the organic honey. So that is a very big misconception in the market right now. So the organic honey means that it is not heated and it is not given any additives. So if honey has already has been harvested in a hot area, if it stays on the shelf for a while and it becomes cold, it starts crystallizing because of the fructose and the glucose within it. So it is not the fake honey. The fake honey is the one that doesn't crystallize. Yes, that is the one that has been heated, it has no nutrients, it's just a syrup. So that is the main challenge that we have with the honey and the beehives. The beehives now, the cheaper wood actually produces cheaper beehives. So you find like um, wood like cypress, gruvelia, you find it, it's a cheaper form of wood, but pine is a recommended, completely recommended. So if you buy a cypress um, wood beehive, you would find it maybe for 4,000, 3,000, but it will only serve you for one colonization as we also experienced in the beginning of our journey. So it will be colonized once, and then now they will abscond because now the, that type of wood attracts the insects rather than the honey, the honeybees, yes. We began with a, a business competition through Synapis. So we won that business competition in 2017 and that opened up for us networks that we were able to now um, build our partnerships from. Right now, we're working with Kerio Valley Development Authority, Elgeo Maraquet, and a number of other counties that we're actually doing apiary management for them and producing some of the beehives and the tools and the services that we have. We're also working with a number of NGOs currently um, within the Masai Mara and within the national um, reserves within Kenya to actually um, create an income for the indigenous um, um, communities that are around those national parks to ensure that they do not cut down or they do not have human, um, human animal conflict is reduced. So some of the challenges that we have with the big organizations is that they do LPO based purchases. So this can give you a slight constraint in terms of cash flow, um, but once they actually pay now, it becomes fruitful. So the only challenge we have is that LPO business that we are currently doing with the big organizations in accordance to their procurement processes.